Hello everybody, how's it going? My name's Klaus, this is my house, and we are back here at Nordhagen Beach. So let's keep on keeping on. We're going to go and do some quarters down here because it's kind of the necessary thing to do. I think I still have to put the, uh, yeah, I have to put the door piece here. So let's go ahead, go back into the domestic stuff, all the way to the end where we can get the door piece. And might as well put the one over here as well. Um, the one thing that I am not sure of is what we're going to do out this way. Now, we might have enough room to do something, or I might not. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, like I've been saying. Uh, so, there's there's various things that we could do. Did we get another one? No, nope, that's the same lady, I suppose. Uh, I'm actually kind of interested in which way she's going. I just want to see what she does. If she's going to walk up here or not. Or if she just hangs out down there. Yep, just going to hang out down there. All right, well, it's kind of unfortunate, but it is what it is. You just got to roll with these punches sometimes. Uh, for this one, I'm not sure if, if we're going to be able to go out the whole way. Uh, we can definitely try. And we're definitely going to try. Uh, the th no, no, we got it. We definitely got it. All right, we can add. We really want that. I mean, definitely a place where people can move. Oh, oh my God, are you gonna do things? If I just go next to you, are you gonna? Are you gonna figure it out? Are you just gonna, just gonna figure it out? Maybe. Cause that would be cool. Uh, the other thing could be just that it's um, it's early in the day. Who knows? Who knows what they're thinking right now? Oh, oh! I see her moving. I see her moving. Not, the, not the way I need her to go. But I suppose it's okay. Alrighty. And I, I think something like this would even be cool. The only problem is like the way that the ceiling comes in. Um, kind of, kind of is unfortunate. But it is what it is. Uh, it would also be cool, I suppose, if we did something like that, but you can see we're just looking right into the stairwell, so there's really no point in having windows over here, uh, which basically means there's no point in having windows on the other side either, which is perfectly okay. Oh, what we should do before we forget. Give me some of that. I wish you could do, like, double-sided ones, like, uh, where they're on the inside and on the outside. It kind of makes sense that we would have some sort of pressurized, like, window system like that you would think just as like a, a thing but uh you know can't uh, can't complain too much am i right don't gotta tell me twice i know i'm right all right so we're gonna do some of that we'll go over here so we can get a window and uh, we'll get ourselves some corners because those are obviously important uh it would almost be cool if we had like larger windows but um, I feel like the circle ones, because and and corner ones. I, I keep I keep not going out on my free time and uh, finding mods for this stuff. So I, I really have no one to. Whoops! Let's not do that. Uh, I have no one to blame but myself for not having corners with windows or anything like that. Uh, but you know, it would just kind of be nice, maybe. I almost wonder if this would be better, even if it was modular, kind of like the. Uh, the other settlement items are, or other settlement building items, I should say. Oh, do we not have windows in there? We don't. We should definitely get those going. You know, I suppose even though this says nursery, we could always make it not a nursery, if that makes sense. Could put plants in here, like that kind of nursery. But who knows? All right. Well, I guess the other option here is to just not not do stuff, and then see how far we can get out this way. Um, because it may look a little weird, but it's not that bad. It could definitely be worse. Let's 
see, so this is going to be the first one. Let's just, um, let's go ahead and, oh, I would need to put a door away. Time to just go do that for the whole set so we know what's going on here. We might as well literally do the whole thing. So that will end up including uh, even that one four-way door that we have on the other side. It's not a doorway yet. It will be. Probably hallway. Oh, you know what is kind of stupid about this? I put a bunch of these. Ooh. Mm. And by these, I mean windows. There's a bunch of windows around here. I feel like that is going to be really dumb. Should we butt these up against... Um... Yeah, should we put them up against something else? Let's see, if we did something like that... Yeah, we're, we're just... We're blocking sunlight out. I think that's kind of the right way to do it, just maybe not there. Uh, so let's go ahead and put a three-way. Alright, good part about this is we're not really blocking any windows. I mean, I suppose maybe from this one. Uh, but in terms of everything else, we're probably at least pretty decent. So I'm trying to think. What we can do is we can build this one out over here. We build this one out over here. This would be, you know what? Let's not do that one. Darn it. Okay, well. <laughs> I need to get back in. All right. This one, we use this guy. Go. And again, we build it out this way. So everything is going to be built out to the one just to the left of it. Or sorry, to the right. Well, left if you're this way, right if you're this way, whatever. Uh, then what we do is we leave a nice big open spot here because I don't want to block my view at all. And then we get this house to be over here. So to me, this seems like a suitable compromise now again it's not um it's not everything that we ever wished for uh, we did have to compromise here because well we just wanted something different to put it bluntly when this all started not necessarily that it's turned out poorly uh, in fact it's turned out quite well uh, in terms of supports under here i might run the supports right along this whole thing uh, but I might just run it from the actual houses themselves. I'm not, I'm not hundred percent sure yet. Uh, it does look pretty cool though. I mean, it's definitely industrial. It somewhat looks like it doesn't fit, uh, but I like it. I like it. Uh, it almost looks like little pods, little portable houses, and stuff like that. Nah, I'm, I'm learning to like it. Let's go ahead and get the corners going on in here. Now we could do a corner doorway, which I thought about. And we could do a corner doorway like that. Now the thing with this for me, maybe we don't do that. Maybe what, what else? What else have we got? Get these. We want to maximize the living space. We don't want to. Uh, we don't want to restrict anything. So, basically, we know that we can fit something here, and then in there, and we know we can get that. Now, this would be the uh, the nice place to have curves with uh, with windows, just because we would be able to see through there. 
Um, but you know what? It, it kind of is what it is. If we do that... Yeah, that's not terrible. And that should be enough sunlight, really, to make this place, like, not be absolutely uh, horrible to, to live in. Let's go ahead and probably even get a window like that. Yeah. And, uh, ooh, I finally found the one place for this corner. That's where it goes. Well, not so bad. And essentially, this is going to be the view that, uh, that everyone else is going to get as well. Uh, and the nice part about this, even... Whoops. Oh, I picked the wrong one. I'm a little trapped. Okay. The nice part about this is... Uh, whatever. Let's just fly through it here. Because this is where I want to be. Is that we have... Um, not like a total barrier, but somewhat of a barrier. Where we could put... We could put uh, like laser turrets here. And I don't know if they would exactly hit those Mirelurks over there. But they might... They could definitely get close. They could most definitely get close. I suppose the other thing that I should probably have done is... Maybe not made that a nursery. Maybe I should have made it a common area and then put the power in there. Oh, yeah. You live and you learn them, alright? Alright, so... Oh, looking at this. We're not going to get as much light in these other houses, but that's probably okay. I'm not going to complain too much about it. Alright. So, pretty pretty good. Uh, I don't know if this is really anything. Probably not. Um, I guess we could have done corner doorways to like interlink all of these, but I... I don't think we have that much communal living where we're at. We're not that much of a hippish. We can even make this one pretty large as well. In fact, we might as well. We can make this one the largest dwelling. Come out there, and then we'll go here, and we'll go there. Uh, just because we're that badass. Go ahead and put our doorway on there. And uh, I was kind of thinking of these as, like, kitchen nooks or something like that. Who knows what they'll end up being, at least on this side over here. One never knows until they actually do that building. Ah. Well, hmm. I mean, I guess the only disadvantage here is that it takes away our window on that side, but I'm not uh, not really destroyed by that. I suppose it could be worse. So let's go ahead and start popping our stuff in. Get all our windows set up. Uh, yep. Okay, so I already got it there, and then we'll place a door. And uh, might as well just do this the, uh, the cheap way. And I don't know if this is going to work, but that would be kind of cool if it did. Nope, it's not going to work. Okay, well, that's fine. What I can do is just pop right back down in there uh, afterwards. Just go ahead and pop the doors. Plop the doors. I guess I gotta do the windows on the side too, because I wasn't sure that we were gonna keep them. Alright, so all these doors should make these people extremely safe. I would hope at least. One would hope.
And let's not forget that we want to take that nursery out and make it a common area, and that's where I'm going to end up putting the power. Now, the only thing that I'm still not sure about is whether or not the platforms actually hold power. If they do, I'm not really going to worry about it. Alright, looks like we're all good over here. Yeah. Okay. I'll go back there and do that little change up. Alright, common area. I wonder what switching it up actually does, if anything. Probably nothing. Uh, I think this is probably more aesthetic than anything. I could be wrong. Could most definitely be wrong. Alright, so that's fine. Uh, but the nice part about this is it's open enough to the point where it's going to um, it's going to still get light. In fact, this is the weird part here is that you can see that there is a light on top of those now. So I don't know where exactly that's coming from. Not coming from the sun. That's for damn sure. See, even this stuff has light. I I don't know if it's just bad uh, bad models or what. A weird little weird. Alright, so, oh, well, when you do something, class, you might as well commit. Alright, so let's go ahead and look at our power options. We might go ahead and actually um, shrink, shrink our stuff again, because it might be... See, what's this one? 500, and this one's 150. Might actually be... Uh, yeah, that stuff is too big. Just a little bit. Just a little too big. Well, might as well do it, right? Put that there. We'll take that and put it there. Okay, so now we do have power. So that's all fine and dandy. Uh, I don't know what else, what other sort of crazy stuff that we could do over here, so... vault Tech Population Management System. Well, that's pretty cool. We probably will use that, but in our Overseer's office. We, we might want to have this, but it's not quite going to fit. A little too tall. Uh, lights, maybe? I don't know. Well, maybe in decorations or something, there's a... Uh, we don't need display. We don't need wall decorations. Statues? They got statues. Jeez. Uh, I'm looking for just... Electronic devices. Just something along those lines. Speakers? No. Ugh, no. Come on. Well, no, that's what I want. Furniture containers, tables, maybe? Overseer's desk? Nope. Not what I want. Um, hmm. I mean, I suppose it's getting closer to what I'm really into, but... There's no, like, computer consoles or anything? Is that the gist? seems to be the gist. Okay, well, this is just going to be our power room, more or less. I'll uh, figure out what we're going to do in there later. Uh, for now, though, not super important. Oops. Alright, let's go and uh, check out our vault. Oh, that's the nursery. Even I'm getting lost. Well, the vault, or the overseer, looks very, very similar. Uh, just put a chair over here. I thought that was kind of nice. All in all. Uh, so, special... 
Yeah, we don't have the Overseer's Desk special thing anymore. I think that was just for Vault 88. We do, however, have uh, that desk in our tables section, so we'll go use it here. Is it all the way back at the beginning? It might be. Yep. Yep. Alright, and we'll just try and line it up. Looks fairly decent. Alrighty. And then, yeah, we should come in, like, right on that. Yeah, right in the middle. Boom. Okay. And then... We have TVs, but I would really, really like... Really like a computer... Chicken is a little unfortunate. Kinda of don't have one. Kind of. I was thinking this should go there. I don't know if um Getting sidetracked. Yeah, I mean, honestly, that's not that bad. Let's uh, move it up by like 10, maybe? Yeah. Okay. So let's see if our connectors work here. There's definitely that, and then what we can do is maybe take the power from the ceiling. Ah, okay. Well, that's a thing. So these don't count. These don't count at all. Uh, that's a thing. So everything that's connected to this will have power. I can almost guarantee it. Almost. This stuff, however, these these railways do not transmit that power. Which means all of our stuff is not powered right now. Except for that. To me, that is problematic. Now, I wish there was a thing that allowed you to put this on the outside. But unfortunately, there isn't. Now, what I'm thinking is that we might, we might be able to do this power radiator. somewhere the the issue well we did the power in there right If we were to maybe finagle some things, 
we could make this work. So let's go into our connector. And if you guys are playing on console, that's all well and fine. Uh, but this is most definitely a PC thing. Uh, in fact, that's not what we need. We need one of these. All right, and then let's go up here. All right, I can only imagine how weird this looks. Well, it's not too bad. Oops, TCL is what I needed, not TC1. And then this, maybe, helps. So we're radiating power. Now, is there a power receiver? you gotta be see it says it's got power so I mean does that just make this stuff go on yeah see because that's got power We're not done. We're, we're not down. We're not out. I mean, what does this look like in here? I did. I did this. I think that's what it wants to do, even though that's dumb looking. Doesn't even go through. Comes through up there. Okay. We might be able to do this. And it's not going to be like that. It's going to be with these. Is that even what I want to do? I'll pass through. What's the difference? That one's in the middle. And this one's up. I'm not sure what the difference is here. Kind of what I'm hoping is that we can... Just got another one of those. Not sure if the earth is shaking or what. Yeah, it must be. Because I did not shake my mouse, but it was shaking. Yeah. No power. Okay. Well, that is... Unfortunate. What's probably going to end up having to happen here is that I am going to need to run power through all of this stuff.
So that's where it's going to come from, eh? And that's where we are going to... Place that. Now, we need to make sure that this is straight as possible. Because we're going to be taking this a long way. Nope. That ain't going to cut it. In fact, what we can do is we can just do this. And hope. Nope, that's a little crooked. Oh, it's crazy how uh, how much that that's affected. That looks about right until you get to there. Good thing we can walk across them, I guess. Hmm. I'm gonna turn down my, uh, my mouse sensitivity really quick and maybe we can make finer adjustments. All right, so we got that going at least. So that's good. Uh, now that they're all in line, we can more or less, excuse me, start uh, setting up our network of things. Now that should all be powered in there. Well, no, I take that back. Well, you know what? There's only one way to tell. There's really only one way to tell at this point. It is connected, sort of, kind of. Um, so it's it's really just up to uh, up to this test. Nope, nothing. Okay, well. Unfortunate, but we know what must be done. Bad things must be done. I really wish there was a, a power receiver. Why have a power radiator if you can't receive power? It's kind of dumb. It's a little, it's just, it's a little dumb. But uh, who am I to say? Who am I to say? The good part is we got lucky. We got very, very lucky. And it turns out that this will do us just fine. And uh, I suppose this is maybe a bad way of doing it. It probably is a pretty bad way of doing it, actually. Oops. Um, yeah, very, very close. Uh, because we're going to have to replace some of this stuff anyway. I suppose it's not a bad idea just to uh, lay it out. Uh, because it's looking like this is probably going to go one more episode. I was trying to keep it at three. Uh, but the good part is... I still have a little bit of time, so we shouldn't really freak out all that much. Okay, so I actually went around and uh, did just a little bit more. Um, all in all, not too bad. I think maybe the other thing I could have done was taken this and, and maybe gone and just put it in the center, which arguably is probably a little bit better uh, because we're still going to need to pull power from these guys for our turrets as it stands, so... It is what it is. Um, but I did figure out a little bit of how to do these conduits a little bit better. So basically, it's consisting of, if you're going to use these ones here, the way that you can, I guess, make it the same length as like this big one here is you use half of this one, and then you use the half of this one, and then you use that small conduit, and then it's about the same size. Uh, so again, you would take a... Uh, not just as conduit, so it's kind of unhelpful, but you take this middle-sized one, and then you would take these, whoops, 
would take the small one, and then you would take whatever conduit that you uh, that you really really wanted, and you would put that on the other side. And uh, this is going to be a very poor representation of this. Hopefully, you can kind of see it's about the same length. The thing is, if you do it all the time, see, it comes right there, and right there. Uh, roughly speaking. So, yeah. This one, I guess, is the one that you want. You want the T1. So when you have it with the T, it becomes the same length, right? These ones are all lining up, and this back ones are lining up. So that's how you would essentially do that if you guys are having problems yourself. I would imagine you're probably not, because you probably figured it out, because this has been out for a long time. And uh, I didn't like it, when I originally started uh, playing around with it, so I never really used it a whole lot. Um, and I would argue that the only time that it has ever been useful for me is right now. Outside of that, really not a whole lot. Um, I suppose what I should do is, is that. It's probably the best way to go about doing it. And then for this stuff, Uh, at least something like that. Uh, because I am going to need one every single time. And for every single one. And I should have probably done this the first time. But, eh, oops. Messed up. There we go. Woo! Alright. The other bad part about this, if you want to call it bad, which it somewhat is, uh, is the fact that I guess I'm exposing these to the outside corner, um, which I probably should not be. Uh, the proper implementation should probably try keeping it in the middle or on the inside corner. But you know me. I don't play by the rules. The rules play through me. All right, and then we'll take this guy out, and uh, we'll take that one. All right, so we have power on every single one now. In fact, it might almost even be worth it to like run these out across over there. Yeah, because we're gonna kind of need it eventually. All right, let's just finish up over here. And uh, I just hope for the best. Go for the little one. And uh, then we can take it right down there through the middle. And this is actually probably the optimal way to go about uh, implementing something like this. If I had to take a guess. Because see how we're keeping it right in the middle there, and we get right on the barrier, can have all of our stuff that's looking back and forth. And uh, yeah, we don't have to really worry about these power lines because they're far enough to the inside. Now, I guess you could say those are roughly evenly spaced. Uh, but for some reason, this just seems a little bit better. We'll see when we get our turrets out there, because I guess we can put turrets right there to somewhat block the power. I would rather lose turrets than lose power. I think that's relatively self-explanatory of why that's a good thing. Oh, look at them! Look at them! They all got there. Well, that has turned out to be a freaking Christmas miracle. Jeez. Alright. Um, so we're probably, like, one, one in. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Good. Keep around this one this way. And Oh, we've reached that we've reached that limit. Okay, so uh, you guys pretty much get where I'm going with this. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna finish wiring all this stuff up. Uh, or at least laying the pipe down, if you know what I mean. And uh, yeah, when we come back, I will have all this stuff working, hopefully. Uh, and after that. 
we'll probably go into a little bit of decorating. Uh, very, very minor decorating, setting up our defenses, and then maybe taking a walk around this place and seeing what the hell's going on. So anyways, guys, hope that you've enjoyed this episode. If you have, please let me know down below in the comments section. Otherwise, have a great day, great night, whatever it is to you, and I will see you back here next time for some more building and Fallout 4.